Hey guys, Bing here, and today I'm going to talk about reporting parameters. So first, uh, let's create a curtain panel pattern base family. And so we're going to place some dimensions. So set work plan first, pick this uh, ref, uh, work plan of the reference line, DI. Make sure you pick the point, the point, Okay, let's do another one, set and di. So now select this dimension, create a parameter. So let's call it L1 instance reporting OK. And this one, let's call it L2 instance reporting parameter. And now I'll just create this shape, so create form and face. So now let's create a, a, a mass. Okay, so in this mass, I'm going to create a reference line, spline. So one, two, three, escape, one, two, three, escape, and one, two, three, escape. So now select these three reference line, create form. So you can adjust the point after you have this form. So, so for example, like this. Okay. So I'll just uh, also adjust the point a little bit. So I want to make the these point close to each other at this end. I'll show you why. Okay. Later. <laughs> okay. So now click this face. Click on this face. Device surface. So we can see, I'll just roughly, uh, I'll change the number for this one, 15 maybe, yeah. So you can see in this end, on this end, there will be uh, the edge of this will be smaller and in the middle will be uh, bigger. So go back to the this um, curtain panel and then load this into this mass. So now select this face, uh, surface, and then pick the family six. Okay, so just wait for a couple minutes, sorry, seconds, and you will see uh, this is the um, the mass. So if you tab, so you can select each individual panel. So this is a curtain panel we did in here. And uh, you can see, oh, sorry, tab, tab, select. So you will see that's L1 and L2. So these are reporting parameters. So they they will tell you what the dimension, the value of dimensions are. So for example, L1, maybe this is L1 or maybe that one. So let's try this one. So and you can see it's 1.7 meter. It's probably either this one or this one. And 3.3 is either this one or this one. So these are reporting parameters. So you can't control them. It only shows a report to you uh, what the values are. So, okay. So, uh, another use of reporting parameter is so you can use them to um, to control some instant parameters. So, for example, I'll just quickly model some shape from this. Okay. So I'll do a reference reference line. Draw our face. I'll just pick the middle point of each reference line, and then I'll place a point. Draw on, draw on face. Pick the middle point, and then draw a point. Draw a work plan. Set work plan. Pick the horizontal work plan. Place it on the point, and OK. So I will drag this up, and uh, I. So this is the offset. I'm just going to create a a parameter. I'll call it H. The height, and I'll use instance create instance parameter. And now I'm I'm just going to quickly model uh, some shape. Okay, so create select the point. So two points spline reference line, and two one two two points spline reference line, and then we're going to Clip or create some face. Okay, so one, two, three, three uh, reference line and face. So tab one, two, tab three, 
uh, face tab control select tab and uh, another one so last one one two three create form and face so now we have this shape and uh, we're going to to go to family types we are going to use l1 or l2 to control the height so um, for example i'll just type in l1 l1 times 2 okay so apply so you can see when you change the um, L1, so for example, if, if you click on this grid, so horizontal, which one's horizontal? Let me try. try. Yep. Uh, hang on, this one's not right. Let me go back. Um, yeah. It's, it's okay, I'll just leave it. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect, but I'm um, just show you. Uh, the reporting parameter how it works okay so now let's say this is finished and I'm going to load this into here okay so I'll load uh, override and uh, uh, it goes to the other side that's okay I'll just uh, um, select click on this mask and uh, check the component flip and wait for a few seconds okay so now um, looks like uh, we're using the wrong parameter so I'll just tab select so this one's Seven point three six. Yeah, it's quite similar height. So what I want to do is, I want the middle part to be high taller, and the, the, those at this edge become uh, like uh, lower. So what I'm going to do is edit. Go. Um, actually, I'll just change by ninety degree. Let's see if it works or not change this to uh, rotate the whole grid or not okay looks like yeah so now you can see these in the middle are taller and I'll just tap select one of them so this one's high at 2.6 meter high and the one in the middle is high enough 5 meter so so this is the use of uh, reporting parameter. So I use reporting parameter of one of the edge. So for these ones, this edge, maybe this width, this edge, or this edge. So relatively shorter, and these ones are relatively um, longer. So that's why they will have different height. Okay. So now, um, and also we can. The reporting parameter, we can use them for uh, some schedule. Okay, so uh, I'll just quickly show you. So, for example, if I want, uh, yes, we need to create a project. Okay, so now I'll just create a project and then I'll load this mass into the project. Uh, do you want to save? No. Okay, I'll place it here. And go to 3D view. So now, um, let's say view on the view schedule and hang on. let me se tap select one of this family and you, you, you will see it's actually curtain panel family okay just remember that's curtain panel not a mess so go back to view schedule and on the curtain panel see 
curtain panel, curtain panel. Here, so curtain panel. Okay, so we just need to um, actually. So see, you can't find L1, L2 because we will need a shared parameter to. Uh, okay, I'll just quickly let's quickly add a shared parameter. Okay, so go to. Or oh, actually, we need to edit this family because we need to place the shared uh, parameter into this family as well. So edit family and uh, go to family types. So here L1. So this is just a family parameter. We need to change this into a shared parameter. So go edit. So see family parameter. So change it to shared parameter. So select. So here I'm just going to create a new group so edit and i'll just create a new group for this okay so new group i'll call it uh, today's date and okay so now we'll create three new shared parameters so l1 okay it's already defined uh, actually i think i did did this before hang on let, let me have a look screw for yeah so uh, actually I did this so yeah if you haven't done this so you can just create new parameter and and if you already you have already done this you can just pick this so here I'm just going to use this okay so uh, I'll cancel this and I'll in here change it to group 5 so L1 so yeah so okay and okay so go to family uh, level L2, edit, share parameter, select group 5, L2, OK, and OK. And H, H, edit, share parameter, select group, group 5, H, and OK. So now all these three parameter become share parameter which we can use in a shared schedule okay so okay now we can load this into the project and override okay so now in this project let's go back to uh, there's no curtain panel schedule so yeah we just need to create the curtain panel schedule schedule so go to view drop down schedule schedule and uh, curtain C curtain panel here and OK so this time we will say H L1 L2 so just load this in OK so L1 go up go up to go up H and OK so now as you can see this is the schedule um, actually I'm going to WT uh, I'll close this one WT again so so you see this is the schedule and if I click in here it tells you which 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 one it is so see this one uh, this one's L1 of this one is blah 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 L2 and the height of this one will be 2.6 meter so and how about this one? Uh, no, it won't show you uh, this way. So only this way. Um, click on in here and it tells you uh, this this one. Okay, so that's it. Um, so reporting parameter. So today is about reporting parameter. So if you have any question, let me know. Uh, okay. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so it's not fi finished yet. I'll just quickly fix uh, a mistake I did before. Okay, so tab select one of the family. So previously I ch tried to change this um, one of the number and looks like it's not working properly. So 
this point is supposed to be in the middle. So let's quickly fix this. So I'll just temporarily hide this face and for in, I'll just delete this um, delete this line. Okay, so I'll change this back to sorry, I changed it back 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 to about three meter. So now instead of directly draw a reference line, I'll just do point draw uh, draw our face. So one here and another one here. And then select these two spline reference line. Okay, so now this place select this point. So this is a point to control the top one and uh, pick new and pick the middle point of this reference line. So now HR. So now if I change the this the grid, this you can see this point will always be in the middle. Okay, so that's it. So now if I load this um, into here and uh, you, sh you should be able to notice the difference. So if you look at this location of this, this is quite off the center. So see this point and uh, once it's down so now you can see all the points is locate, located in the center of the panel so I'll control Z go back and control Y control Z control Y control Z control Y so you will see the difference so okay so that's it um, I hope you like it and uh, yet, um, don't forget today is about reporting parameter. Okay, so thank you. See you next time. Bye.